Mr. Buchanan. Hi. Are you ready for your wedding today? Hope so. <laughs> Is there a problem? No, no, of course not. Did my brother call to say that he was going to be late? No, no, no calls. Do you love him, Mom? Do you love Bo? I told you, sweetheart, I love Clint. Not what I asked. Well, that's all the answer I got for you, okay? Oh, come on, Rachel, it was one lousy kiss. Lousy? Okay, it wasn't lousy, it was... Uh, what? It was a glimpse back to a time that I believe was over, and... It was a big mistake. Mom, you're about to get married. Don't you think you owe it to yourself to answer that question? I have answered it. Besides, what difference does it make? All the difference in the world! I really do need your help. No, hey, Lindsay, how you doing? Oh, I'm, God, I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm doing fine. I'm working in the library teaching a drawing class. Matthew appreciates all your letters. How's he doing? Uh, he's hanging in there. Yeah. That's good. So, you need my help? I need you to stop me from doing something stupid. Such as? Stopping Clint from marrying Nora. So Clint and Nora are getting married. I never thought they'd go through with it. You knew about it? I read about it in the paper, but you can't trust everything you read. Uh, well, they've had their ups and downs. Um, Nora and I started spending a lot of time together after Matthew's accident at, um, in the hospital and uh, rehab. I knew when I read about Matthew that it was going to pull you two closer together. So Clint thought he'd head you off at the pass? That's exactly what happened. Yeah, your brother always did like to take the bull by the horns. He loves her. And she loves you? No, I don't know. I don't know about that. Everybody in town knows Nora never stopped loving you. The question is, are you in love with her? Mom, it's just us. You don't have to pretend. I'm not pretending, honey. I'm getting married in an hour. Yeah, only because Matthew didn't tell your fiancé that you kissed his brother. If he had made good on his threat, Clint would have canceled the wedding. You don't know that. Mom, I know that you care about Clint. I love Clint. He's like, I don't know if he's... Your best friend? He's more than that. Who would be humiliated if he thought that you were only marrying him because you were afraid of hurting his feelings? Sorry to barge in on you ladies, but I just wanted to know if we're still good to go. I'm going to go check on the flowers or something. You're not dressed. How come? I planned on I'm just not ready. I don't know what's going on with Nora and me. Um... Maybe I miss what we had at one time. Maybe I'm just jealous. Or maybe it's because we're the only two people in the world that feel the same way about what happened to Matthew. I don't know. All I know is that we were talking last night, and I kissed her. And it felt great. So you've fallen back in love with Nora? And you don't want her to marry Clint. And for some reason, you want me to talk you out of stopping the wedding. Is that about it? Yep. That's about it. You are a very handsome. That's no surprise. You're never ready on time. And I love that about you. You're my 20-minute girl. I say 8.05 and bang, 8.25. There you are, coming down the stairs already. Clint, oh, I'm sorry. Well, don't be. Because, you know, when I was married to Lindsay, I'd say 8.05, and a couple days later, I find out she'd been in Morocco buying rugs. 
Lindsay? A sore subject, I know, but I'm trying to make a point. And the point is, I love you. I love everything about you. Even the fact that you still love my brother. And I told him that. You told Bo? I sure did. And what did he say? Nothing. Why? Come on, cowboy. I gotta go get ready. You okay? I am the luckiest woman in the world to be marrying a man like you. I'll see you at the altar. You betcha. I love you. I love you, too. I'm close to telling my brother I kissed his fiance. What's stopping you? I don't want to hurt him. And I, I don't really get what's happening. What's happening? You and Nora are what's happening. No, 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 no. There's no Nora in me. I mean, she was there. I kissed her. I wanted to for a while now. Why? I, hell if I know. It's not like she said that she was ready to call off the engagement. Have you asked her to? So what happened? I saw Clint heading to the church. Mom, is the wedding off? No, why would it be? I just Rachel? thought... Rachel? Bo was given his opening. Clint told him that he knew I still love Bo. He said that? Yep. And Bo said nothing. So, whatever made him kiss me certainly wasn't important enough for him to jeopardize the relationship with his brother. You know, it was an impulse. Bo's just kind of an impulsive guy. He almost married Lindsay twice, for God's sake. Have you ever tried to tell Nora what to do? Are you kidding me? All right, all right. But besides, she's happy with Clint. You and Nora would have been happy forever if you hadn't found out about her and Sam. Yeah, and then I couldn't forgive her. Are you starting to wish you hadn't been such a hardliner? Well, it doesn't matter. Obviously, she doesn't think uh, that we have much of a future, and I don't blame her. And it's not like we haven't been there before. So why give me another shot? Lindsay Rappaport, how'd that come up? Clint mentioned her. Mom, you don't have time to stroll down memory lane. You need to focus on what you want. I know what I want. I want Clint. He's a good man. And he loves me. And we're good together. And Bo? And Bo, and Bo, and Bo is... <laughs> Bo is Bo. I don't even, I don't even know if there's anything there. Don't you think you owe it to yourself to find out? You need to talk to Nora. When's the wedding? It's in an hour. What? An hour. In an hour? Yeah. But what are you doing here? What, Lindsay? <laughs> You hate Nora. Now, if anyone can talk me out of destroying my brother's life, you can. Call him, Mom. Call Bo and tell him the truth, that you have never stopped loving him. It's now or never. I do still love him. I love them both. Okay. Oh, don't, but don't tell me what to do. You already know what to do. You don't walk down that aisle till you tell Bo how you feel.